All right, so I just built a new ledge at Candyland, so I'm gonna go over and check it out and see what it's all about. I'm pretty sure the Skate Park Push Orlando guys were the ones who got that all together and built it all, so I'm pretty stoked on those dudes. If you guys don't follow Skate Park Push Orlando and you guys live in this area, make sure you go to my link in the description down below and find their Instagram and go give them a follow. They're doing a ton of awesome stuff for Orlando, and they're really pushing the scene for like BMX, skate, scooter, roll bite, all that stuff. So Skate Park Push Orlando, once again, thank you so much for getting this done over at Candyland. Let's go check it out. Pickleball, America's fastest growing sport, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of want to join a league, I'm not going to lie. Look at the aggression over there. All right, folks, there it is. New ledge. Let's have some fun on this bad boy. I'm going to set you guys up. J5.0 is going to get the job done today. Hold on, hold on. you guys want to see J5.0? We're evolving. My man is super flexible now. He can kind of get all the angles. <laughs> I don't know if all you guys remember that video where I split my foot open super bad. I'll put the clip in right now. But that's the quarter pipe that did it. So I think it's time to get redemption on that bad boy. Let's see if we can't get it back. I'm a little nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I just really don't wanna do that again. First time in a long time. I broke a spoke. Wow, it's been a minute since I've done that. I heard it. It's not bad though. That was a pretty good little session. That ledge is definitely really fun. I gotta head back to the house right now because I'm meeting someone to sell one item right now, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then I'm also meeting someone later to sell another item. Again, hopefully, fingers crossed. So we will see. Catch you guys in a little bit with the J5.0. She's gone. I'm very sad. <laughs> oh, sweet girl, I'll miss you. I know, exactly. I know, I know. But you said you owned an 86 and an 88 already. An All right, Lisa's going to a good owner. Oh, enjoy it. I'm so sad, but kind of happy at the same time. Another sad day. Day two of being kind of sad, but also happy at the same time. I am getting rid of the diesel as well. Again, I just have so many cars in my driveway. I look like a used car lot and I don't drive this thing ever. I got that brand new van and honestly, anything I'd ever need to tow, I could tow with the van and I put all my bikes in there anyways and I just wasn't getting the use that I needed to out of this truck anymore. It was just sitting in my driveway. It has 230 something thousand miles on it. So I found someone who wants it. It seems like they're cool. They kind of, you know, needed something. They call it a beater. I don't see this thing as a beater. This thing is like a baby to me, but I will quote, he said, I need a good beater in my life. So uh, Ford is uh, parting ways with us as well. Sad, sad day. Well, sad to see the Ford and the Ford Runner go, but I mean, it's one of those things where I just had too much stuff and it was time for some things to go. But in other news, I just got a text message. This is late at night right now that uh, Adam LZ actually just hit me up to come ride his ramp tomorrow. And the dude is always so incredibly busy with the Drift World stuff. He's traveling all the time. And I looked at it and I was like, yeah, let's figure out how to make this work. So tomorrow we're gonna try, hopefully to go get a session at Adam's. So I'm pretty excited because I've never ridden his backyard ramp and it has a perfect box jump in there. And as you guys know that I love backyard ramps, it's all skate lighted, everything's great. It's absolutely built professionally. It looks awesome and I'm just so excited to try to go ride it. So hopefully we can figure it out. I think we will be able to. And uh, yeah, you guys are in for a treat because I'm super pumped to go do this.
No rain though. Yeah, it does look cool. I mean, it's just shit's like art, dude. That's what I was saying. And I saw your feet. I was like, what the fuck? This man's feet. What the fuck? That is a game of bike destroyer. That's a game of bike trick right there. Wow. All right. That was pretty fun. We literally just got back. Again, shout out to Adam. Thank you so much, for dude, for hitting me up. I want to give you guys like a little insider information. Fun fact. Adam was actually my camp counselor at Woodward when I first started riding BMX. And I bought one of his first merch items. It was like a bikes and bitches hat. I got it taken away from me from the Woodward staff. He was my cabin counselor. He saw me do my first flare and my first switch flare. And it's so crazy to see where he's come from having, I think at the time it was like 30,000 subscribers to now having almost 4 million. Killing it in the drift car world and still riding BMX bikes. It's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, it was really good to catch up with him. I wish I got to film more. The rain kind of like didn't really help that. But I also just wanted to ride and catch up with Adam and kind of see what he's been into lately. Dude is so busy. So super awesome to catch a session with him. Finally, when we live in the same state and whatnot. But he is so busy. He's always out of state driving other countries, all that kind of stuff. Stoked for him and uh, really appreciate it for the session. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. And I think tomorrow I'm going to meet up with Marcel and Jay. We're going to go ride. So look forward to that video. And I'm out.